Hey everybody, my name is Nate, and you are watching WASD20. Today we are playing Card Hunter. Uh, this is a free-to-play browser game uh, that I recently heard about from my friend, and uh, I am very glad I did, because I'm enjoying it. Um, so, here's the main map. Uh, you can see all these different levels, or, or I guess quests, uh, the ones that are darkened are the ones I beat, the ones with the glowing eyes are the ones I have not beat. Um, this is the armory. I'm just going to uh, quickly sell a couple items here. So this game is um, based on, well, I wouldn't say based on, kind of, uh, but anyway, it takes inspiration from tabletop role-playing games, big time. Um, you've got grids and minis, and not much actual role playing, but anyway, uh, so more of a battle game maybe. Uh, but you've got those grids and minis, and you've got this fantasy setting, and uh, so it's got a lot of the tropes of Dungeons and Dragons and such. Um, you can see, we've got three characters: Orfric here, my dwarf, and as Azarin, my um, my wizard. And then I've got Melek, who is my elven cleric, or priest, I think they might call him. So, yeah, those are my guys. You can kind of create your own. And, uh, yeah, it lets you pretty much um, customize them a little bit. And, uh, yeah, the stuff that I've got here, the gear, uh, you can see this is the armory. And then below here is my own stuff, and I'm going to sell a couple items here. mainly a couple duplicate items that I've got. And uh, you, you also notice that when I hover over the items, it actually tells me um, what cards I can possibly draw. It is called Card Hunter, after all. What cards I can possibly draw for play. So, keep. This is where I can look at my gear in a little more detail. Huh. Oh, this is, uh, this is Gary. Gary is the DM. And uh, he is... Delightfully annoying, um, in a somewhat endearing way, I guess you could say. Um, so, yeah, d the humor might rub some people the wrong way, um, but it's all right. It, it does get a little annoying, but overall, I like him. He is uh, the quintessential DM, running games in his parents' basement, and uh, has nerdy little quips. Uh, here's where I can, this is a tavern, here's where I can recruit more warriors. And at this time I think I'm actually going to skip ahead to a battle. Alright, here we are in a battle. So, uh, this is kind of in the middle of one of the quests, this is the second battle of one of the quests, and I'm going to full screen this here. It does run in a browser, uh, but full screen it like this. And uh, so this is the dungeon of the Lizard Priest. Somewhere in the ancient sewers of Shieldhaven lies the hidden lair of Subgut. Malign priest of the Lizardmen. Plunder this den of scaled iniquity and liberate its treasures, if you dare! And so it says three exciting battles. I'm on the second one. Uh, your party retreats from the ba battle to rest and bandage your wounds. You'll return to fight another day. I think that's... Did I get beat last time? I can't remember. Okay, so, yep, I need something with piercing or slashing. Oh, here we go, replay, two more attempts. Yeah, I, I, re I resigned the battle last time early because it kind of froze. All right, um, I'm just going to go ahead and not look at my gear and hop in. Yes. This is uh, the DM's brother who chimes in. Note how I cast them with grace and panache, deft yet manly. You would do well to copy my technique, little brother. He's talking about the dice. He was criticizing his brother's dice technique. All right, descending the rusty ladder brings you to the slime tunnels, a maze of filthy and unsanitary passageways. Slubgut has posted more of his guards here. Bubbling out of a cracked pipe comes some kind of sentient black ooze. It joins the reptilians, and they attack you. Let's do this. <clears throat> Encounter! 
Encounter! I like it when he says that. The lizard men are accompanied by something black and bubbling. Okay. That would be this line. Alright, let's do this. Uh, so, this one, you can see that this card on the bottom left is kind of bouncing up and down. That's a card that I have to play right away. It gives me a bonus to my stab attack for my dwarf. Alright, and my uh, dwarf will move first. We'll get him right over here. His armor check failed, so you can see I'm playing these cards, and then some of them do have a dice roll along with them. Oh. Alright, simple strike. So I'm gonna hit spacebar to zoom in on this, and you can see bottom left three and bottom right one. So it's three damage and a range of one for this card. Mm. And I do a little bit of damage to that guy. Alright, uh, I'm gonna move him. Uh, no, we'll just keep him there. Oh, I can't cancel a move card. Yeah, you can cancel most cards, but you can't cancel a move card. Oh well. Alright, wizard. What can you do for me? Force bolt. Damage of one. Lame. But, oh well. I'll take it. Um, my cleric here, my priest, can do this drain touch with just kind of a attack that takes damage from him and gives me hit points, but I don't really know. Oh well. Oof. Right now, I can move guys with telekinesis. I don't think I really want to do that right now. Yeah, I'll move my priest or my wizard rather a little bit more out of the way. And wavering faith. What does this do again? Target discards their oldest card. You discard your oldest card. Uh, I'll try it. Sure. All right, now let's pass. So Gary, it says Gary passes. That's the, the DM. Spark generator. Got a couple of these. Oh no, not defensiveness. Uh, this one. Uh, when you play a magic card, if an enemy is within three squares, cancel that card. So, yeah, it kind of hurts my spell abilities. Um, but the gear that I have that, that um, gives me that card once in a while, I find to be worth it. So, alright. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, my wizard has no offensive spells. That's great. Well, we'll walk our dwarf over here to chop. Oh no, that priest is hurting. Alright, Mr. Priest, we need to get you out of here. Yeah. Wizard, I don't know what to do with you, Mr. Wizard. We'll use telekinesis and move this blob. Ah, nope. Fail. Okay. We're just gonna be a little defensive here. This will take two damage from me, I think, but. Then it will heal me. We're gonna try. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, okay. Something. Alright, let's pass. So every time you pass, then you get new cards afterwards. Finally, my wizard has something. But that guy is in the way. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> my cleric's got no offensive spells. 
So basically, I've got very little in the way of offensiveness here. But, let's see. We'll move our dwarf back here. And our wizard can arcane spray this guy, I think. Yeah, okay. Yes, I passed the check. Alright. Alright. I've got... Yeah, I'm gonna heal my cleric again here. Heal yourself, dude. Oh, no. This is bad. Gotta dash you out of the way, buddy. Okay. And we'll pass. Discard shuffle. Yeah, so when you pass, you have to. Um, you can only have two cards at most. Just so you have to discard one if you have more than that. Alright. Now my dude has his strong hack. That's good. Okay. Yeah, these aren't going to do much because the slime, I think, is immune, but we're going to try it. I think he said he can only have sl slashing or piercing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's damage reduction that he takes. Because. Just because. Yeah! That was good, okay. Um, my dwarf, if I move him out of the way, <laughs> we're gonna get cornered here. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can fire spray this guy. Uh, not much. Oh boy. Okay. Let's shuffle him up. This is risky. <laughs> Strong hack. He's probably gonna die, but that's okay. All my guys might die here. <laughs> this is not so good. <laughs> that won't do nothing. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, there's just not many places to go here. Move this guy over here. Well, maybe our cleric can get out of the way. Nope, he's kind of trapped there. Catch Righteous Frenzy on our dwarf. That will improve his attacks. But not enough to do damage. Well, let's try it. I don't know if that improved his attacks enough to do damage on that guy. Nope. Alright. We'll pass. Good cards, good cards, come on! Alright. It's got. Yeah, okay, a stab is good. Oh, that slime is gone. I guess I did kill him. Huh. I missed something there. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Let's have our cleric commit suicide here. Wizard's gonna. Run up here. He'll zap him. Whoa, chugging. Okay. Dwarf, you're not gonna do us any good back there. Oh well. Strong hack, this should take care of it. Yes! Wow, can't believe I did that without losing a guy. Cocked die. That's a cocked die. God, do I have to do everything for you, Gary. Okay. Yep. Let's collect our loot. After scrapping the remains of, uh, scraping the remains of the Black Goose from your weapons, you look around for valuables and then continue your search for Slubget. So every time you get some loot in a chest here, and they keen to remind you, hey, this is what you could get if you paid. This is the club reward. Uh, but anyway.
and put any money into it, and I don't plan to. Perfectly happy with it the way it is. This looks like a pretty good one. Three, four, four dice for my armor. Let's see what this is. Oops. Five, nothing, four. Hmm. Seems like it's a little better. Looks ridiculous. <laughs> anyway. So I think I'm going to stop it here. Um, but yeah, this gives you a little flavor for the game. And uh, I like it a lot. Card Hunter. Available at cardhunter.com. Free to play. And pretty fun. So yeah, thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Everyone, thanks for watching. Take care.